Well, this week's Kindness in Action highlights a local woman who strives to help low-income families and their children with their reading skills. Fox 23's Elizabeth Rodale tells us more. Kindness in Action is brought to you by Forest General Hospital. For the last eight years, Mary Jo Jackson devotes her time making sure kids are able to read at their class level. We work mainly with the families in our Briarfield apartments, and they are, that is the housing apartments next to us. Uh, the average income is between 11 and 15,000 a year. She's part of an after school tutoring program with Aldersgate Mission that works with 66 kids Monday through Friday. They use one on one tutoring techniques. Reading is so important. From kindergarten to third grade, you're learning to read. When you hit fourth grade, you are reading to learn. And we wanted to make sure that these kids enter the fourth grade with the ability to read and to learn from their reading experiences. The center's director says with Jackson's assistance, they have seen success rates with their Compass Learning Reading Program. And she works very hard to make a path, a reading path for the children. And when she learned their weaknesses, she began to work on those weaknesses. She says she helps students seek confidence in their reading levels. Then they are developed into greater learning uh, levels. Uh, children move from first grade reading level to second grade reading level, or they become on their levels or two levels above for reading. Many low income families are trying to get into the successful program that only accepts a few students a year. Even though your kids go to school, you can't expect your teachers to have 35 kids in a room and someone not fall through the cracks. Jackson hopes to be an advocate that will help local kids succeed. Elizabeth Rodel, Fox 23 News. If you want to nominate someone for kindness in action, go to forestgeneral.com slash kindness in action. To learn more about Aldersgate Mission, you can visit our MyFox23 website.